You saw the title, it isn't a joke, it isn't a gimmick. Today we're teching a commander deck that you can build for a dollar on Magic Online. A dollar! If you already have basic lands, less than a dollar. We're talking literal pennies here, people. If you want to see the list in its entirety to know that it's actually one dollar, you can click the first link in the description and it'll bring you to MTGO Traders, which currently has the cheapest prices and biggest inventory for this deck. I do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do remember to hit that like button, it helps out a lot. Commanding our Penny Brigade is Melek is a Paragon. Four of anything, one blue and one red for a 2-4 legendary creature Weird Wizard. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your library, copy it, you may choose new targets for the copy. As you can see, Melek has a pretty specific set of abilities, and this is an is a deck. Put one and one together and you get two. Or in other words, a crazy spell slinging bunch of nonsense that's going to knock the pants off your opponents, especially when we get to copy hilarious spells from the top of our library. Since that's the funniest part of this deck, we'll start there. Let's talk awesome, ridiculous spells we're going to copy. Some spells we want to copy deal a bunch of damage or create funny effects, especially in multiples. We'll begin with Fiery Gambit. This thing is so dumb. When you copy it, you get two chances to win a flip three times. Win three times, draw nine cards, and untap all your lands. Hilarious penny card to copy. Squeeze Revenge also requires coin flipping, but you get to draw as long as you win the number of flips you go for. Copying this gives you two chances at a lot of card draw. Just don't lose the flip. Volcanic Vision recurs two spells when copied and functions as a removal effect. Talk about a board wipe from the graveyard. And Fateful Showdown is solid removal and cycles your hand twice, filling up your graveyard with spells you will bring back. We'll go over that in a bit. We're also running Call the Skybreaker because two five fives are better than one and you can retrace it later. But my favorite cards to copy are the Library Manipulation cards. Talent of the Telepath copied as either two cards from your opponent's deck or four if you have Spell Mastery. Just totally neuter their deck. Traumatize, while being only okay when you cast it a single time, is much more hilarious when you can knock off 60-ish cards from your opponent's deck by the time you dual cast this. And my personal favorite of all, Tunnel Vision. My new favorite way to mill someone. By the time you cast this, any green deck probably won't need Kodama's Reach or Rampant Growth anymore. Name that, go digging, find it, or don't, it doesn't matter, because you can do it again with a copy Tunnel Vision. Dirtily? Sure, but come on, that's just funny. Now, Melek can't be the only way we copy spells, that'd be ridiculous. We include all these hilarious, giant, outrageous spells and only have one way to dual cast them? No way. Luckily, Reiterate, Reverberate, Twin Cast, Wild Ricochet, and Swarm Intelligence are all a single penny each on Magic Online. Tons more ways to copy spells, most of them affordable mana cost-wise, creating even more laughs for you and annoyances for your friends. It really is just the way Commander Magic was meant to be played. We always want relevant and valuable spells to be on the top of our deck when Melek is on the battlefield. We have access to them, so they might as well be good. Sometimes that won't be true, so we've included a ton of ways to draw beyond those cards as well as refuel your hand and fix your top deck. For pure card draw, we're running Jace's Ingenuity, Opportunity, Stroke of Genius, and Pour Over the Pages for big mana draw. Also copying those? Not so bad. In addition, we do have more affordable card draw on Tezzeret's Gambit, Tormenting Voice, and Treasure Cruise. Yeah, Treasure Cruise is a penny on Magic Online, figure that one out. Anyways, with these 7 draw spells, we'll be refueling and fixing our hand for days. In addition to pure draw, Scribe becomes way better in a deck like this where the top card of our library is always revealed and valuable. Good thing we have some nice Scry cards available at a penny each. 4C is the standard for Scry and Draw in this format, super strong and great to copy as well. Interpret the Signs is a bit expensive, but it lets you filter away what you don't need and refuel your hand while scrying. Ugin's Insight is almost always going to scry for a bunch. You'll see with our creature package in a bit, but drawing 3 is still just good even with limited scry. Riddle of Lightning is a great way to fix the top of your library and get a removal spell out of the deal. Add in Crystal Ball and Seer's Lantern, and that's a pretty solid group of scry spells. They absolutely help fix the top of our deck and make Melek all the more dangerous. We've been focusing a lot on spells because, well, it's Melek we're talking about, but this deck is chock full of insanely strong synergistic creatures that, yeah, all cost one cent each. I'm honestly surprised by how many of these cost a penny. We'll begin with spell synergy creatures, the ones that let us return our instants and sorceries. Bloodwater Entity, Charmbreaker, Devils, and Naklavi all make the cut. 
They all recur what we cast. The entity in particular puts the card back on the top of our library for more Melek shenanigans. We're also running a number of simply strong creatures that boost the power and benefits of our instants and sorceries. Goblin Electromancer is cost reduction. Hypersonic Dragon makes sorceries instants. Jorian is going to be drawing cards at a decent amount of the time. Nidix Guild Mage loots for us and copies spells on a stick. Gotta love the Guild Mages. And finally, Docent of Perfection, the beautiful instant and sorcery tribal wizard. Gorgeous card right there, perfect for this deck. As you can see, the offerings at a single penny are pretty dang good. Melik is pleased. That's not all we're running creature-wise. It wouldn't be an Izzet deck without niv -Mizzet. Both of them. That's right, both versions are a penny. I love magic. Anyways, one of them pings off of drawing a card, and the other draws a card off pinging, so you've got all the bases covered, just strong creatures. We're also running Mercurial Chemister. A bit expensive, but he taps to draw a card so easily, and that fuels his discard ability that's straight-up removal, which we can always use more of, and we have Recursion for those discarded cards. And Prognostic Sphinx is real hard to kill, especially when you have cards to get rid of, but the real reason it's in this deck? That Scry 3 trigger on attack. That with Melek? What a dangerous combo. Perfect one-cent addition to the strategy. We're also running a few clone creatures in decks, Duplicate and Vizier of Many Faces. The Duplicate is here because it's a one cent clone, but the Vizier I'm excited about. Getting to copy a creature twice thanks to that Embalm mechanic, pretty sweet in Commander. After all that is said and done, the curve of this deck is a bit high, which is why we're running the best mana acceleration a penny can buy. Iron Mirror and Silver Mirror are actually perfect. If players use removal against them, sure, go for it. We're also running Burnished Heart, Everflowing Chalice, and Is It Key Rune for more ramp and fixing. And finally, Dreamstone Hedron for a late game mana push and some card draw if we need it. This wouldn't be an Izzet deck without some disruption and removal, right? Well, since we're running Melek and always have access to the top of our library and the ability to copy those spells, we're running a bunch of disruption and removal. For straight counters, we've got Dissipate, Dissolve is nice with Scry, Double Negative, Copied ends every spell ever, Essence Backlash deals a bunch of damage, Insidious Will is a counter and a redirect and a reverberate, so we're obviously including that is it Swiss Army Knife. And finally, Rewind. Because copying Rewind and sometimes getting to untap 8 lands is simply funny beyond reason, or untapping 4, tapping them, then untapping them again, what a good way to live. Juicy, juicy removal. We're on a red deck, so we gotta have it, and it's even more dangerous because sometimes we get to copy it. Prophetic Bolt is nice damage, and you get to dig four cards deep. Refuse hits the dome and cooperate. Copy spells from the yard. Great one, two there. Turn and burn. Gotta love Fuse. Turning a creature into nothing, then shocking it. Getting to copy that? Even better. Keeping it moving. Curse of the Swine. Pigifies anything you don't like. Invoke the Fire Mind is either a nice late game draw spell or a late game burn spell. Gotta admire flexibility. Mizzy of Mortars can overload and you can copy it with Melek so things might die. And finally, if you hate Red Lobster or just need more time to get your board situated, Whelming Wave is going to return most everything to your opponent's hands. Unless you're against that one guy who decided to be cute and make a Leviathan and tribal, I probably wouldn't talk to that guy anymore to be honest. And the last three non-land cards in the deck, Steam Augury for even more deck filtering, Warp World, because the thing is a penny and I just can't resist playing Warp World when given the chance. Plus your creatures make all your spells more powerful, get a bunch of those out, you're looking great. And last but not least, Elixir of Immortality. Hold on to this thing for dear life, it saved me multiple times in testing, you'd be surprised just how quickly you go through this deck even without Wheel of Fortune effects. Elixir is a great card and obviously just super cheap. This version of Melek includes 37 lands. We have a pair of value lands and Blighted Cataract for card draw, and then my favorite land in the deck, Mad Blind Mountain, so you can keep shuffling your deck, trying to find the best top card for Melek. So simple, but so beautiful. Getting two red permanents, not as difficult as you think either. Then we have our fixing lands, Evolving Wilds, Transguild Promenade, and Vivid Creek, standard stuff, all a penny as usual. And in some duels, Highland Lake and Is It Guildgate, and a couple new deserts of the Fervent and of the Mindful varieties, great for cycling, hard to say no to that flexibility. Then just add in 17 islands and 11 mountains, 37 lands in total, all a penny each, just so beautiful. Melek is it Paragon is a real fun commander to play with, and this deck is designed to do just that. Have fun. You can literally build this entire thing right now by clicking the first link in the description, and it'll cost you a dollar. MTGO Traders has your back here. Even less than a dollar if you don't need basic lands. Less than a single dollar. Don't want to spend a lot of money on magic? Just want to play commander? You can for a dollar. Don't say I never brought you something affordable, because this, this is past affordable. It's nearly free, to be honest. 
So again, if you enjoyed the list, please click the first link in the description. Get the deck, it's a friggin' dollar. And if you enjoyed this dollar deck tech and want more of them, let me know in the comments. Would love to hear what you think about it. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.